Welcome back to Prospect Bay. Today we are in Blunto, where we are about to expand the local economy because the people here no longer exactly wish to live in a one horse town. So the first way we could do that is by building some more agricultural fields. So I think I'll do a little bit of that. Of course, that necessitates expanding our street network as well, which should come in handy in general too. Trying to follow the contour of the land a little bit here. Yeah, that's plenty for that. Eh, I don't know that we especially need another highway junction right there. I think we can safely expand the street a bit more and just have our intersection be with this other street here. But not quite yet. Let's expand it a little bit further in this direction. Oops. should be more than far enough from the intersection. I think I'm going to build more off there, so I'll uh, not build a smooth curve quite yet. Ooh. Some dramatic slopes around here. Huh. Could probably afford to make a cut just like that. And this so that there is plenty of land available for this farm plot. And wow, I remember this area. Some pretty unfriendly terrain around those parts. Oh, damn it. See if I can't improve things a little bit. And not really. Yeah, actually, I might be able to do it quite a bit up. That's a find. Got it rid of some of the worst bumps there. Probably get rid of somewhere around here too. There we go. That looks swell. Oh, I actually didn't spot this uh, street junction a minute ago. It's a bit close for my taste. Yeah. In fact. I think we'll try to meet the street way out here. Well, doesn't hook up quite perfectly to the RHW, but it's good enough for this for now. over. We'll expand the street a bit more, I would bet. Hmm. I think eventually... Uh, yeah, I think we want a street along this line at some point. That's going to be where we're building down to. Oops. Yeah, 
Yeah. And bring street back in somewhere hereabouts. Putting in my smooth curves here. And expand this speed a bit more. Almost done with this. Yeah. Maybe we'll just have a bit of orthogonal road sections here. Don't see how that would hurt us too much. Sit there. Is that hook up the way I want it? It appears so. Okay. Cool, so I should start putting those along the streets. as well as a flush against these existing farms. Don't necessarily need to zone that spot though. Or this far up at the smoky land. Jeez, those are some dramatic slopes. Sure. This is looking pretty functional so far. Except, of course, we don't want any vertical farms. Those would look pretty silly. I think everyone will agree. Well, that's already vertical enough. This is pretty vertical too. Damn, yeah, that's super vertical. Oh well. Just gonna zone a bit more in this direction. Because that seems to be where the land is flat. about hooking up a new street connection. We can run both ways. Yeah. 
I think this whole area they're gonna fill with fields. There's no reason not to. This is starting to look a little bit more realistic. Let's just try to get something up for this area. Yeah, hell. We don't really need roads over there, it's just too steep. Was good. <clears throat> yep, and a one farm like that. about for it to have any access. That's never been a problem. But I do think that we are going to need more streets for areas around here. kind of cuts through to a boarding area. There we go. Yep. Valento is definitely looking to become a much bigger place very soon. Pop out our smooth curves where we need to. That's it. Excellent. Could be some trees in the middle of those farms, but uh, uh, there could be any number of explanations for that in real life. Should be good. Uh, so why not let it run out for a minute? See how these farms develop. Looks like we got more than fifty thousand demand, or at least about fifty thousand. So that seems like it should be plenty. Now let's fix this up really quick, though. that those two farms were connected. Well, sounds like we are getting development. Nice. Keep the time moving. Damn, a highway sure looks a lot more like a highway with the 
development all around it like this. Kind of red mill. <laughs> Don't know how realistic it is having that in a region like this. No idea what's behind that Zot. Considering it should be funny on the street. Yeah. So that seems like most of the. Yeah, almost all of the zones developed very fast. Let's see how that affected traffic there. New movement. Yeah, looks like we've got no congestion. That's good news. Traffic volume seems like they're mostly sticking to the highway and main street in town. So that's what we want to see. Yeah. Now I'm seeing a bit more flat land on this overview map here, which yeah, it bears developing at some point, but I don't know that we necessarily need to do that now. In fact, I think there's just a little bit more development that we want to do in this episode. That is to draw a road. Uh, ah, that's too slippy there. Draw a road out. Somewhere around here? Or I suppose here is better for- yeah. Okay. So up here, can definitely afford to have a few new farms. Let's see if that will zone in really quick. Yeah. We'll have a few next to each other, because why not? Nice. And probably two more. In the meanwhile, We might as well zone a second little town center over here. So that all of our farmers in these outlying fields can have housing. Yeah. That should be good. These places should. Ooh, man. They barely supply the demand for workers for the place they live in next door to. They don't even make it over there. Well, I guess that's a sign that there's are more people in this area. Maybe this spot in between these fields is the site we should look at next. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. I guess we'll put some smaller trees. That seems like it makes sense. Oh. That one part was not in the correct spot. So let's fix that. And these two spots could probably use some bust-ups. 
so we'll take care of that. One right there, how's about? And another one. What do you say? Right here. Oh no. Looks like I demolished the farm there. So let's let it be grow. And put this right at the corner where it's most useful. Yep. And we're going to place one right up here because uh, yeah, it's time for us to place another coal mine. Oh no, but we can't. Hold on just a minute. Seems as though we're using the wrong type of power. Natural gas is just too effect for the people of Blotto. Whoop. Did my game just freeze? Nope. Felt like it for a minute though. But the people of Blotto have decided it's time to embrace the clean, modern alternative of coal. They're going to build a coal plant right on top of the mountain there. Just to show how proud they are. So it's totally funded. Started out completely defunded. That would have screwed us up if we'd let the time run like that. Actually, might as well let it run like this for a minute. Okay, why are the Zots still there? Huh. Don't want to get badminton, so let's try to figure this out really quick. Whoops. Yep, building our power lines really quick there, fixed everything. God damn it. The main part of Blunto is completely infested with mansions. That's not what I wanted for there. But I won't worry about fixing it too much right away. Oh. Actually, I really might just have to... having that many mountains right in your city center. Definitely not what we want going on. Maybe draw out a few new houses in town here. Because why not? Build some houses that aren't necessarily right next to each other. One right there. Should be good. Yeah. And getting an awful lot of rich folks moving in for a town with barely any civics. But anyway, now that we got all this, seems like we should be able to get our coal mine. Hmm. Uh-oh. Apparently agricultural workforce doesn't count as industrial workforce. So we're going to have to fix this. In fact, why not zone some new industries right around here? Take advantage of that bus stop. Yeah. That should help us out. In fact, that's quite a lot of industrial space for a town like this. We don't need nearly half of it. Should be able to build our new coal mine now. 
grave need. I took a bypass that, so I don't know how much flat terrain I have. Nope, oh, workforce still not big enough. Huh. So our industrial no our industrial demand appears to be high. So what's the issue? Oh, uh, you know what? It's likely no workers. Seems to be a problem. Developing though. I think I'll build some workers on top of this cliff anyway, though. Which seems like the thing to do. Build them right up here. They have a great view of farms and factories. And we should have plenty of industrial workers by now. Nope, but we're coming along. Maybe I really should be doing some more areas for workers to live. So let's do that. Yep, above and below the cliff. Yep. Huh. Maybe we can use some more houses along here near the bus stop. Don't want to demolish fields quite yet though. Huh. Maybe this problem will have sold out this field to let a few people live there. Where do you work? Alright. Hmm. Farmer's market. Well that seems like something that would make sense to build. Something that could really improve this area too. I don't know though. Kinda inclined to just build it off somewhere like this. Yeah. People will have to go gather there if they want to enjoy the farmer's market. There will be a little neighborhood in the area too. Because why not? Yep. So is my industrial workforce big enough? I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm gonna need more industrial somewhere. Here seems like as good a site as any. Right along where I had those trees. here too. They can fairly easily commute to these jobs or to the farms of the area. Speaking of the farms of the area, probably use some houses around them too. Hmm. Okay, I'll be pretty surprised if we don't have the number of industrial jobs we need by now. And, no, but we're getting very close. 
wonder why I'm having so much trouble with this. Oh no. What does our budget look like anyway? We're barely breaking even. Well, we aren't even breaking even, but, you know, we can if we need to. Some of those mansions grew back. This part of town can use some expansion though. build their houses here. Eventually it will be worker housing once that coal mine is ready. But for now we're just making sure that everybody has access to plenty of workers. Yeah. Honestly, with that many people around there, it's probably even sad to support a school. Don't know that I want to be placing that now, though. Kind of want to be building this coal mine. Oh. Well, we're getting very, very close. But still no cigar. One of those industrial zones. Are they all getting the requisite amount, number of workers? I assume so. No. I'm gonna just go ahead and put some industry in the town center here. It seems like a surefire way to keep those mansions out. <laughs> and it should put us past that problem. So let's build this mine. I pressed yes, but it didn't give me the plop, so I'll have to go through here. Okay, looking good. It's about the flattest area there is. And, oh yeah, there's no rail station on it. I forgot for a minute. Gonna put a few little trees there between the mine and the factories around there because it seems like the right thing to do. Rethink our buses a little bit. Actually, I think I'll have one over here. And one right there. Those are, that'll be just our bus stops. Shouldn't need any more for now. And I'm going to make a quick save here, check how much time I have, and if we have enough, I'll go straight into building our rail line for Blunto. Wow, we definitely don't have enough time to go on an extended rail construction project, so I'll save that for the next episode. This one is already very long, and see you next time.